Hello there and welcome to this CS Watch OCR J276 video and we're going to be looking at the internet. We are going to be looking at what the internet actually is, how the cloud uses the internet, what is DNS and what is virtual networking. So the internet is the network of networks. Each server farm where all different websites are hosted is one LAN and they get connected to the others so we have a network of networks. The World Wide Web which is sometimes used to compare, describe the internet is just a collection of websites. So you need to make sure you've got the difference between the internet being the network infrastructure, the hardware behind it, and then the World Wide Web collection of websites. Um, a URL, Uniform Resource Locator, is an address to access web servers. So for example, www.bbc.co.uk is a URL. It is used to access web server. Uh, DNS, domain name server, translates a domain name, for example, bbc.co.uk, into an IP address. Uh, IP addresses are made up of different numbers. So, for example, 55.66.77.88 could be an IP address. But if you think about the amount of different websites that you use, a human wouldn't be able to remember all those different IP addresses. So far today, I've been on at least 15 to 20 different websites. There's no way I could remember 15 to 20 different IP addresses. But I do remember the domain names. So I remember what they are called. That's easier for your human. And what the DNS does is when it sees a domain name, it looks up on different DNS servers, different domain name servers, to find out what the IP address is. Once it's found the IP address, it starts to load up the relevant website. The cloud uses internet storage to store applications and files. Uh, it's essentially storing information online. It can be accessed from any internet connected device in the world. Uh, it can be used for running software, can automatically be backed up, and data can be kept secure for you. However, using the cloud can be risky if you've got unsecure passwords or commonly guessed passwords, as if your login gets uh, breached, data can be la uh, leaked out, it can be hacked, and then lots of bad stuff can happen. Celebrities take private photos of themselves, which they store on their iCloud accounts. As soon as their account gets compromised, those images can then be leaked across the internet, causing quite a lot of damage. So good points and bad points about using the cloud. As I was saying previously, DNS translates a domain name into an IP address. Domain names can be customized and easy to remember. So for example, cswatch.org.uk, quite easy, quite simple to remember. The IP address isn't though. DNS checks different servers for the correct IP address. First of all, checks the local DNS server, which is the one um, it's nearest to its connection. If there's nothing on there. It checks um, an ISP server, so the internet service provider. It checks with them DNS, and then it checks um, a larger, more national DNS. If it finds something, uh, the DNS record and the IP address on one of those servers, it sends back a message saying, yep, we found it, happy days. If it can't find the IP address anywhere, it comes up with the error saying that DNS cannot be found. That's what that error means. It's saying you've entered a domain name, but we can't find the IP address for it. Virtual networking um, is a network which is entirely software based. It's virtual. It's run on a machine. There could be multiple virtual networks existing on one physical network and each virtual network's got its own type of security. People use virtual networks because they can set up different networks for experimentation, for organizations, for different file management situations, using one piece of hardware, one piece of physical equipment. Um, because it's got its own security, uh, virtual networking is used a lot by white hat hackers when they are trying to investigate security flaws, and there's more on that in a future video. Virtual private networking, which is VPN, is a type of virtual network which can be used to send data securely. So if you connect to a virtual private network, you know that your data is going to be sent across securely. And then finally, a virtual LAN, as you can probably tell, we're looking at virtual, something being software based, allows you to split a LAN into separate networks virtually. So what we've been looking at in this video, the internet is a network of networks. Uh, DNS is used to convert an easy to remember domain name into a hard remember IP address. Uh, the cloud can be used uh, for file storage. It's got definitely got lots of advantages, but then also it's got some disadvantages as well. And virtual networking allows networking to take place during soft, uh, using software, which can be cheaper and easier to run at times. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and we're a bit happier now with the internet and the differences between the internet and the World Wide Web as well. And I shall see you in another video. See you later.